Hey Aries and welcome to my channel. This is Indigo here and I am doing your love compatibility for the last three months of the year. So that's for October, November, and December. Um, I will go through each zodiac from Aries to Pisces. So um, stick around and see who, uh, who and what you'll be dealing with and uh, who you can expect or what you can expect out of your relationships. So this is for singles and couples. Uh, it just lets you know, like if Aries is dealing with Virgo, you know what the outcome is. If Aries is dealing with Capricorn, what the outcome is and so on. So, okay, we'll get started. Spirit and angels, please give me the situation between Aries and each one of the Zodiacs. Okay. So Aries, your um, overall energy for the next three months, you are full of love. You are showing love, giving love, full of compassion. You're balanced. You're vibrating at a high level and you are um, rocking the love vibe. If you're an Aries dealing with an Aries, um, there could be a, a female. The, the female part of this relationship, they are emotionally drained. Um, if you're dealing with another Aries, this uh, relationship could um, face some difficulty in the next three months. Uh, if you're an Aries dealing with a Taurus, you, wow, you have the two of cups, very successful in the next three months. This could be your soulmate, um, but most definitely it feels like soulmate love, but most definitely you both um, are emotionally invested, giving the same amount of energy to each other, love, admiration. This is just an amazing relationship and it's going to see success in the next three months. If you are an Aries dealing with a Gemini, five of swords, you are refusing to give up on this situation, um, refusing to walk away. Uh, there could be a lot of arguing, fighting, but you're refusing to give up on the situation. You could have some um, time of trouble in the next three months with this relationship. Uh, if you're an Aries dealing with a Cancer, the eight of swords in reverse. You're wanting to get out. Now is the time because you're no longer in your head feeling trapped in this situation um, or they could be feeling this way towards you. Um, yeah, just, just getting out of that feeling of being trapped. Leo, if you are an Aries dealing with a Leo, hello, Ten of Cups life. You guys are just emotionally um, abundant, invested, and uh, fulfilling each other, this is, gonna, this is a relationship of pure success in the next three months. Let's see here. We got Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgos. I had to think of what's next in the Zodiac. Aries dealing with Virgos. Ooh, heartbreak. This relationship is going to um, suffer some emotional scars, some emotional heartbreak. Um, in the next three months, you could be breaking up with a Virgo or a Virgo with you. Libra. Uh, if you're an Aries dealing with a Libra, you guys could be traveling, um, enjoying each other's company. Um, also closing out cycles of karma. So for one group, I'm seeing two different groups here. One group, you are ending a relationship with a Libra and moving forward, moving on. Um, healing, dealt with karma, put it behind you. For another group of you, you guys are going to be traveling around the world um, different places overseas um, in the next three months. Uh, Scorpio, the hermit. So this person could pull away from you in the next three months. They could have to go within and decide what um, it is that they want in this relationship, in this situation. Um, they're going to be enlightened to the connection. So if you are an Aries in separation from a Scorpio, they um, will be coming back after they have awaken to this connection. Sagittarius. If you're an Aries dealing with a Sagittarius, you're trying to keep something from this person. You're trying to keep this relationship from ending, but I do see it ending before the end of the year. Capricorn. If you're an Aries dealing with a Capricorn, there are secrets and secrets are coming out. That which was done in the dark is coming to light. I also see this relationship um, more than likely ending before the end of the year. Um, the secrets are just too much for you, Aries. Or them. Uh, or was it Aquarius? 
Aries dealing with an Aquarius, there you are, very dominant in their life, uh, but in a good way. You are sharing new adventures with them. You're grounded. You're focused and you guys are finding success in the next three months. And finally, Pisces, if you are Aries dealing with Pisces, um, separated from them, um, the universe is not giving you that second chance. Uh, this relationship will more than likely not come back together. It's time to, um, time to move forward. This is also a card of, um, like conceit, like they're conceited. They think, you know, like their ego is, their ego is controlling their life. So, um, I do not see this relationship coming back together with this Pisces. If you are an Aries dealing with them. So that is the 12 Zodiacs. I will do, um, another reading for you. Aries. Uh, the first card's you, the second card is them, and the bottom of the deck is the um, shared energy, as well as, um, or no, I'm sorry, the first card's you, the second card's them, the third card's the shared energy, the bottom card is the prediction for the next three months, which will bring us till the end of the year. I can't believe I'm saying that already. This year flew by. Uh, Spirit and Angels, please. Give me one card for Aries. Second card is who is coming towards them. Third card is their shared energy. Bottom of the deck is the outcome for the remainder of the year. And thank you. All right. All right, Aries. You guys are getting over a broken heart. Um, now, this doesn't necessarily mean a breakup. This just means that you have... Um, energy in your space that you had to heal from that broke your heart. Um, you could have lost a job and you were heartbroken. You could have lost a grandparent and you were heartbroken. You could have broke your arm and it's in the middle of volleyball season and you're heartbroken. It doesn't necessarily mean heartbroken from a partner, but um, it has affected your relationships um, that you are dealing with. The person coming towards you is the King of Cups. Yeah. Like I said, it's affecting the person that you're dealing with. They are, um, they're emotionally drained. Yeah. The shared energy between the two of you is the two of pentacles in reverse. So, um, finding a balance, um, even though all three of you are out of balance because, or all three of you, well, that might be the truth. That might be what went on here. Okay. I'm seeing two situations. So um, we'll just go with the first situation here first. Three of swords in the upright. Um, you are getting over a heartbreak. Um, this heartbreak affected your relationship in a, in a not so good way. Um, your partner is emotionally drained. There was way too many highs and lows of this relationship. The two of you are both finding a balance, um, both figuring it out, finding out in life what you want. Um, the second uh, scenario, you, Aries, found out you are a part of a third party, whether your partner stepped out on you or you're finding out that the person you've been seeing has a partner. You are getting over that heartbreak. The person you are dealing with um, is has no longer has um, enough love for this relationship to go on any further. Um, they're emotionally drained and they're just no longer wanting to invest in this relationship. You guys are finding balance and separation and your outlook for the next three months is, oh my God, justice. So, uh, this could be a divorce. Um, but justice is being served. You could be dealing with a Libra also, but this is your prediction card. So your prediction is the karmic scales are going to balance. Um, I do see this relationship ending in a divorce by the end of the year, but the positive thing is you're finding balance because this relationship, there's, there's nothing here anymore. Um, this is ending in the split of the couple. Um, if you, if this is meant for you, you know, who, you know, if this is, if this is your message, it'll click with you. If you're like, 
in panic mode, it's not your message because Spirit's saying you already know about this third party and you've already healed from it. The next card under the deck is the star. So you're getting better, bigger and better things coming in for you um, by allowing this relationship and this heartbreak to come to an end. You will find balance and you will find that your wishes are coming true. All right, Aries, that's what I got for you for your three-month prediction and who's coming into your energy. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. As always, I love, <clears throat> I love, as always, I wish you love, light, and may God bless.